The Highlanders have named an unchanged 15 from the team that demolished the Queensland Reds in round two of Super Rugby. And now they have a chance to go two in a row against Australian opposition as they take on the Melbourne Rebels in the third fixture of their season. Win-win is the call. Don't change things if they're not broken. The Highlanders on the road to face the Rebels. We are looking for a real kickstart to our season here. As the Rebels we're playing in the white. Matt Tamua does kick off and Reese Hodge has climbed very high to take that ball back for the oh, for the Rebels. We've actually turned this ball over and now it's away. Ioani to Lynch's. Lynch's picks one. Oh, how wide they go. Hamopo trying to force his way down the right wing. Could not find the support player to be the lead. Now, here is Squire outside to Aaron Smith. Is in a bit of bother here. He's going to lose the ball. Completely stuck on the fence there was Aaron Smith. Needed to pass that away. And Rebels with a rare chance to put some ball into hands. Is into touch. They go. Corobetti just dumped over the sideline there from Tabitali. Missing moments before. Now here is Ioani running hard the line again. He's got Matt Fattis. They love that combination. These two wide ball to Ben Smith trying to link up. Couldn't quite do it. Fattis has the ball. He'll pick it. He'll go. And he runs away from two defenders. Now Fattis is trying to find someone in support. A little grubber kicker behind. The chase is on with Naholo. Naholo gets English. Drives him back. One metre short of the Rebels line. Highlanders attacking with defence. Now it goes down. Big play. What a tackle on Reese Hodge. Flying through to Vita Lee. Puts him in hospital. Five metre scrum. Smith goes to the right. Yuani. Oh, there's so many numbers out here. It's got to be a try. It's got to be Lee. To Vita Lee in the corner. It is. First try. Goes to the Highlanders. And to Vita Lee of a set piece miracle. For the visiting side. Now here is Josh Uani with a sideline conversion. Seven points on the board. There it is. We're up and we are looking good already. The Highlanders up 7 0. And the knock on from Squire. And then in the knock on as well there from see, Lynch is the second go. And Rungi is dragged in. Hodge oh, tries to take on the defense of Rob Thompson, the monster. Slows him in his tracks. Now here's Tamua. Oh, can't get past Lynch's. A big tackle there from the open side flanker. Deep to this left defensive side. As don't get past Matt Fattis on the fence and Matt Phillip, the two mats. Clash. Luke Jones now getting the ball from Caleb Petty. They are stagnant on halfway, the Rebels. Now they look to open it up. Tamua putting on the accelerator, trying to get away from Fattis, but another good tackle by the inside centre. Still advantage for the knock-on. Playing to the Rebels. Short side, no surprise there. And Rangi runs straight into Johnson. There's no way through the big man channel there. Luani comes across as the Rebels go deep, and that's a poor pass going all the way back. Reese Hodge, a good 15 metres from the back, has to try and rescue this for the Rebels. It's looking like disaster at the moment. They've still got an advantage for the knock on. It's now they get a little bit of width and they find the support play out wide, but eventually Will Guinea has it on the touchline. He can't get away from some good defence there from Whitelock. And look where the knock on was 20 metres forward. Guinea to Tamua, who's just kicked it. Why didn't they do that earlier? Ben Smith's there and he's waiting. And Ben Smith's running it back, and he's, oh, he's playing very well here, Ben Smith. Oh, what a play! To beat Lee! One to beat Lee! Beats him with a plum, and the foot race is on! Lee, down the left hand wing! The chase coming in! Will they catch him? No! Not a chance! To beat Lee scores, and the Highlanders double their lead! What a play! Down the left hand side from Tavita Lee! And Josh Uwani slows it all up, takes his shot at goal and adds two more. Points flowing for the Highlanders as they've hit the road this time. 
much better than the first occasion. Got oh, big tackle there on Putty Putty Parkinson, the hero of episode one. They've gotten that bonus point. Here is Thompson. Ben Smith up in the line looking to break his way through. Eventually doesn't quite work out as Homopo is put down. Ben Smith will play a little bit of scrum half here as he fires the wide ball to Yuani, who's looking to dolt his way through. It's not the best play from Yuani, but Leches is there and oh, it's somehow squirted out here. Now they're in a bit of bother here as Aaron Smith, he's gone straight through. Now he's got the man on his support. It is Waisaki Naholo. Can he do something brilliant? No. Too many defenders around Waisaki there. Probably should have gone for the kick. There's a wide loopy pass to Whitelock. Stepping back inside is Yuani. The way from one. They love this left hand side to the Highlanders at the moment. More attacking chance. Running hard onto it is Lenses. See, Whitelock around the corner. Goes to Naholo. He checks, he drives, and he has another go. Waisaki Naholo has got a sidestep in tow. And another try, the Highlanders. First half complete, and we've got a three point, well, three try buffer over the Rebels. And these lowly Australian sides getting thumped by the mighty Highlanders. Here's Yuani again, trying to slither it in, and he does. Inside the right hand upright, great kick there. And we've seen this before. I love this little play that we can use. Now I've flattened it down a bit. I'm going to look for Waisaki once again on the left hand side. 21 0 to score, half time. Well, that's, that's a bit flat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Waisaki. I've stuffed that up. A little bit too flat on this occasion. And it fumbles its way from touch. He's hungry. Get out. Oh, I've got a guy just dashed on the ground. Get up, whoever you are. I think it was Rob Thompson just made him fall on the floor. Here we go, though. Dane Haler Penny. Good ball away to Jermaine Ainsley, and it's let run to three defenders piling on him eventually. From around the corner here is the defense. One man. That's all we need. They don't. They choose to go. Oh, they go straight into our players. And we've turned that over. That is bread and butter stuff for the Highlanders. What a contrast this is to what we had to deliver by the Chiefs. Here is Rob Thompson. What a quite bust away. Yes, good ball away. Liam Squire. Oh, Squire! Destructive run. I think we've lost this. Yes, Squire has been dispossessed. Cover the short side team. And out it goes to English. Great ball to Dane Hayden Penny. Where's the backup? It's coming. Oh, it's been scanned. Hayden Penny going all the way to the line. What a try! We've done it to them twice, and Dane Haler Penny repays it in a big favour way back to the Melbourne Rebels. Too easy around Ben Smith here, showed him the way, put it away beautifully as well. Right, let's get this ball, let's try and get this kick off right. It's such a weapon, this is such a weapon, there's no one out there at all for the Rebels. Right, Waisaki, are you ready? Josh. A bit higher this time, Josh. That's a bit better. It's now on the full. Ah, so close to being right. It's a line out on halfway. Probably should have been a, a scrum, maybe. Anyway, on we go. Let's look. It's the English. Oh, good pass and the tackle from English. And now here come the Rebels again. Haley Penny goes out to Conor Benti. Conor Benti shows the wheels. Gets on the outside. Good tackle. And a big turnover as well. Over the ball to the lead who has been in brilliant touch so far this season. Now we do want to just flat punt this straight to touch. I don't want any excuses. Just just clobber it into touch, please. Uh, Josh, I don't want high, I just want long. Thump it. Oh, it's a real, it's a real flatter. That is a great little kick. On the 10 minute line for the Highlanders, we're up 21-7. Now still searching for that bonus point try as the Rebels have come storming back into this game quite nicely. Let's look for that flat ball to Fannis, who steps in. Now, room on the left-hand side. Just can't get the numbers there. Oh, we're looking for the short side play to the right. It didn't quite come off. Here is Yuani. Smash. We need to set things up properly here, boys. 
In you go. Lynch's. Lynch's. Love a piece of that from the big flanker. Here's Fettis. Quick hands. And a good play. Ben Smith. Up in the line. Wide to Rob Thompson. Go, Rob, go. Beats one. Thompson. Oh, it's just short. I can't quite believe it. Here's Aaron Smith. Oh, no. He's short too. I think we've lost it as well. Oh, we went for the little tip over. And it's ball back to the to the Rebels. We've got to put pressure on here, though. It's going to be a box kick. We didn't see that coming. It's a high one, and no one's there. Well, that's a bit of a bobber. Slowly getting it back, and it's a knock-on advantage. Is that to the Rebels? It is. Oh, no. Bad to worse for us here. At the height of this, as Will Guinea has got it, he's been dumped. Rather unceremoniously on the floor. Love it, we get a turn over here. Just get rid of that advantage because we need to score that one more try. Oh, the dummy! Nice Sarani! Down the right hand wing, one to big, but Ben Smith's off to that. There goes the advantage. Thankfully, great dummy here from Nice Sarani. Love to see it. It's a bit of a half break there from Tom English. Sets up the Rebels once more. Oh, we got that timing perfectly there. Naholo. Driving in the tackle. It's a big pass wide. Oh, we've got, oh, how's that come out? Lucky for two and a bounce there for the Rebels and a turnover, surely. Oh, it had to come to us. That's English. Running the line. Oh, we are so outnumbered out here. Reese Hodge. Reese Hodge. Splits us. Beautifully doing it too. Tamula's in tow. And they've tried to put pressure on. We've got no one. On the short side, Nasirani again. Beautiful pass inside. Luke Jones. Out up. A meter or two. Short try. Oh, the Rebels are back. And great work there. Dane Hayter Penny goes in for the Rebels' second try. And just like that, there's a minute to play. And we are only up by seven or nine. It's going to be just seven. Matt Tabua adds the extras. Okay, team. We've got to get this right because we need that fourth try. Boy, we need that fourth try now. Let's get this right. Come on, Waisaki. This is all you, Mr. Naholo. Catch it. Beat the last defender. Score a try. Bon oh, Waisaki. What are you doing? Waisaki, no hands, though. Goodness me. That was a sinner as well. We've put it together. Finally, we got it on the money. And if only, well, no time to go. Ben Smith's going to have to produce what simply would only be known as a miracle. How about Ioani? What can he do? He's offloaded nicely. We've got more numbers here. Here we go. Rob Thompson. Flat one away to Luke Whitelock. Oh, no, we've lost it. That's not where we wanted it to go at all. We want the bonus point. Maybe we should have been happy with the win. We've got to score a converted try. That is the Rebels. We want to score a try. We want to take on the bonus point. It's all chip and chase in behind. Oh, I might be regathered too. No. Oh, no, we've knocked it on. Who knocked that on? Some big bubbling idiots. They come out wide. Nice Sidani. Great offload. Oh, no. We've been beaten on the outside again. Knocked on. It's a touch. I think that'll be it. We might have to settle, we do. The Highlanders win on the road. A brilliant first half, undone by the Rebels. Second half comeback, but not enough to take down the Highlanders as full time will be 21 points to 14. Highlanders, two on the trot, but only one bonus point from that round two fixture. This is a tough game to win. The Rebels certainly come to the party in that second half. Okay, let's have a look at some stats before we wrap up today's episode. Two tries to three. That was where the Highlanders just got away with it, but you can see possession territory. The Rebels had the better of that game. Tackles missed. We should have made more of it, but we scored two brilliant, well, three brilliant tries, to be fair. Uh, one was a sitter. Now, the other two were just individual brilliances by Tavila Lee and Waisaki Naholo. Neither side really spent any time in the red zone, which was quite interesting as that match wore on. The full-time scoreboard saw Dane Haler Petty with two tries and man of the match. Matt Tamua, two out of two from the team at four. The Highlanders, and it's by Saki Naholo with one try. Tavita Lee with the double. And Joshuani, three out of three 
from the tee. This has been a good win, though. More than anything, the win is the most important thing. The Rebels come back hard, but they could not pick up that W. We're two on the road against the Australian sides as we head into round four now for the winning record. Winners are grinners, as the old saying goes, and the Highlanders have once again added to their little spending points tally. Like I said before, I'm going to save these up until we um, have a little bit of a sum for spending on what you guys think we should be pushing these points on. We've got uh, another three skill and two attribute and recruitment points to jump onto. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up the bonus point there, so no extras. But still, overall, we're looking like we could pick up a decent little player later on in the season. Okie dokie. So before we do anything, let's simulate our way through the rest of round um, three. And as you can see now, we sit top of the table. Two wins, one loss. The Crusaders, though, are yet to win. We've seen a big, big upset, I think. Uh, the Brumbies have taken out the Hurricanes in the first match of round three. You see 15-14. Uh, we were next up beating the Rebels 21-14. The Chiefs 5-0 over the Sunwolves. And the Crusaders 19-0 over the Reds. Lions went down to the Bulls. And a big scoring game. Saw the Stormers over the Sharks. And the Blues getting thumped by the Jaguares. Okie dokie. So, do we have some new news yet? Or is that, um, no, that is last week's news. So let's advance to round three. Um, we see on the table here now, we still sit second. And the Chiefs with a very similar record. We are above them thanks to their points differential, mainly down to that thumping of the Reds in round two. But uh, overall, we're looking all right. Let's look at that. Canterbury, the Crusaders, have not conceded a single point yet. That is quite remarkable. The Reds have uh, scored one more than they've conceded, but we are up by a good 20-odd points um, so far this season. We're looking all right. Josh Uani has 15 points in the tournament top players. And Wasaki Noholo also 15 try scorers. I see Makazola Mapimpi, the big king himself, is up the top there. Tony Pulu, Emiliano Buffelli. I mean, the players we could sign makes me excited for this series. Good win, coach. Uh, to be Lee, Josh Uani and Ben Smith. No mention there of Waisaki Naholo. I thought it was pretty decent himself. Um, good to see uh, Yuani up in that list there. Oh, next up, we're up against the Canes. Oh, no, back to another New Zealand derby. I'm worried for this one. The Chiefs were outstanding. How good will the Hurricanes be? I expect to be even better. Players to look out for. Well, no real surprise here. Bowden Barrett, Jordy Barrett, and Nehat Milner Scudder, who was, um, on a rare occasion, not injured. Let's have a look at this Hurricanes team. Do you guys find these episodes long enough? Or would you like to see more action um, during the actual games themselves? I don't say 10 minute games or 10 minute halves, I just say, actually goes quite quickly. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, what you guys think. So here's a look at the uh, Hurricane side. How much is a guy like Bowden Barrett to uh, snaffle? 20 recruitment points. Wow. That is a lot. But I mean, he is world class. Oh, he's 98. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong column. Yeah, he is top-notch, isn't he? Um, what else have they got here? Nangi Lamapi is only 12. Who else is next level? 17. For Milner Scudder. Ben Lamb's up there as well. There's a lot of guys. Geordie Barrett's also worth 20. I mean, these guys are rated quite highly. I wouldn't give Geordie Barrett a 98, that's for sure. Um, but we have the forwards. I think we struggle in the forwards. You see, Isaiah walker area is a guy I'd like to sign. He is an absolute talent. 85 already. He'll be a guy I'd pick up. Um... And also, we, we can pick up anyone as well. I'm kind of going on a bit of a ramble here to end the episode. But, I mean, let's look at the Lions, for instance. Because um, they have quite a few players. Malcolm Marks we can pick up for 12 points. Um, 25? I'm, I'm sure Malcolm is a bit older than that. Um, where these ages are uh, purely correct, I'm not 100% sure. Warren Whiteley's there. He's only 8 points. He's a bit of a veteran now. Quagga Smith! Oh, do we have to get Quagga? I think we have to get Quagga Smith. I do think it would be rude not to get Quagga Smith. Uh, who's their best player, really? Andres Kudzia. Mahouz is in there as well. He'll be rapid. Um, we're looking at Mpimpi. He's obviously... I've gone to the wrong one. I want to go... No, I want to go to Durban. Um, Mpimpi's obviously a leading try scorer. What's he worth? 15 points, 92. Let's have a look at Marcuzola Mpimpi. He's rapid, isn't he? He's a superstar. Maybe we've got to give him a pimpy and um, pick up uh, Quagga Smith as well. Let me know your thoughts, of course, 
in the comments. I'm recording a few of these in advance, so let me know what you guys think um, of the series and, of course, who you think we should pick up in the off-season. And as always, thanks for tuning in and watching. I've been enjoying the series so far. It's been fun. I enjoy playing this game. And no matter how good you play, look at that last game we just played um, against the Rebels. We were smashing in that first half and then completely outplayed in the second. I look like a bonus point is going to be a sure thing, but we didn't even get it. So it's a great little game. I love playing Rugby Champions. And um, if you do as well, you want to check it out, make sure you go look it up on the Steam um, and get involved. It's a fun little game to play. By far, the most realistic rugby game on the market right now. So go and check it out. But for today, that is my time done and dusted. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I'll see you all next time when we take on the Hurricanes. Two one-time champions who will take out this big clash. Stay tuned and stick around next time. It's all coming your way. Until then, take care.